In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can light a scene inside of iClone 8. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specific aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation and you don't know what you're going to need, well, I compiled a animation startup guide and in this guide i list all the different 2d animation and 3d animation software as well as other software like script writing and storyboarding software as well as three of the leading drawing tablet brands so whether you want to do 2d animation or 3d animation and you don't know what you're going to need this guide is for you so in the description box below there's a link just click there and i will send that guide to you and in this guide is links to all of these different softwares and brands so that you can just click on it see what are the specs the prices maybe you can download trial versions and play around with it so that you can make an informed decision and so again if you want that guide in the description box below there's a link just click there and i will send that guide to you so today i am going to show you how to light a scene inside of iClone 8. Now just to show you quickly, um, if you want to create these three different types of light, so if I go to create and I go to light, you will see there's directional light, spotlight and point light. Now if you want to um, light a scene, those are the three different lights that you're going to use and if you want to learn more of how to use each of those lights i did create a video on that in the past so make sure you check that out i'm not going to focus on that now i'm just going to show you how you can use those three lights and uh, apply it to your scene so first of all uh here you will see before we get to that i just want to show you guys that i use a cloud pc i use vagon and if you look at it it looks like a normal windows desktop there's iclone 8 installed in video omniverse and i'm running iclone from my cloud pc and i just this for me is a game changer because it saves me so much money when it comes to buying graphics cards um, updating or upgrading my computer to handle 3d animation um, so i don't have to do that big investments i just pay a small monthly fee i think it's seven dollars 99 a month very affordable and then i just pay as i use it and um, what i like about it um, i just log in and i can animate and i can do it wherever i am i can just open up the website the cloud pc on my laptop and i can sit on the beach um, and animate i don't have to bring on my a large pc with a graphics card etc this for me was a game changer so if you want to save money and also want a cloud pc i can highly recommend vagon i'll put a link um, in the description as well it is an uh, affiliate link so um, if you sign up and you create a cloud pc with vagon you will get your first five dollars that you can use um, so then you have five dollars that you can use to animate and get going and test it out for yourself but for me this is a game changer and i absolutely love it and i can highly recommend vagon so the first thing that um you do when you want to create your scene or light a scene is you want to know what is the environment that you want to create okay for example let me just i need to go to visual and i just need to um yeah i just need to deselect those two as well okay so the first thing that you need to know is what is the type of vibe you want to create? So my scene, I want to create like a um, a sunset scene. So a very orange type of color is your overall color. So what I the first thing I did was my ambient light. I've made it like an orange color because that is the overall feel that I wanted. Okay, then. The second thing, that background that you see is an image, as you can see. 
Now, the first thing I had to do was I had to create the, that image and I had to adjust self-illumination. So if I show you quickly, it is on 37, but if I remove it, it is very dark. You can hardly see anything. And so I just put that up. And so if we look from inside, now that background, it looks a lot clearer. You can see it a lot better. Again, if I, that you can't hardly see anything, but you now just pushing that up. Now you can see, okay. So that is basically where I started from. I got that background where I wanted it to be and I have set my ambient light. The next thing you want to do is you want the image-based lighting IBL. You want to set that. So what I've done for that is I have selected, let me just see if I can find it quickly. Let me just, on the stage, well, let's go to template, okay. Let's go to stage and atmosphere. OBL. And then I have selected, I think it's the rim light that I've selected, but it could be, let's just see. I can't remember exactly which one I've installed. Okay. But I think it was the rim light that I have done. So what it does is it makes the scene completely black. And then what I just did, I the strength, I made it zero. So my scene was completely, completely black. And that is what I want. That's the perfect starting point for my lighting. Okay, so then what I did was I want like a light, the sun shining through the windows. And so that is the sunlight like that. And then I've also pushed up the volumetric lighting and this is the thing that really makes iClone 8 stand out. So that is the first thing I did to create that effect and I've made it also an orange color and then my shadow colors I've made purple as well and you will see um, under visual if I go to the top I think under the shadows you'll see uh, let's go back to scene and if I click on the light and go up there, you'll see my shadows is purple and that is also what I want. And so that was the first light that I did. Then I look at the light sources in my room itself. So if I just move this. So you'll see there's a light and there's a second light. And so I have added lights there. So those are the two lights. And then there is one here at the top, a ceiling light. And it is that one. So if I just click on these, then you can see where I've placed the lights. Okay, so now we have some lighting. You can see there's already shadows casting. There's a light coming from the top and our scene is starting to, to take shape. Okay, so the next one is just a spotlight. 
that I've added And this spotlight was just basically a purple light because when the door opens, there's a purple light going through. So let me show you quickly what I mean. So if I do that and I, that is just for a effect that I want in the animation. So if I am going to, there a purple light shines through as you can see and there it closes okay so that is just for effects and then uh let's go back to scene and minimize that and let's scroll down okay so basically the main light the three light sources the lights in the room as well as the sunset coming through those are set now i want to light my character okay so i have done a full light that lights her from this side a little bit from the bottom as you can see then i have a key light which is your main light comes from this side from the top and then i have a rim light to give that little highlight there at the top if you see it makes a nice line and it separates her from the background and a little bit on the shoulder as well and so there the character is nicely lit and then i've just added more lights to help with the scene okay so then i have a table light that shines from the top just to light the table because if you see it is quite dark and then i can just um i've done that because there is one of the camera shots behind shoulder boom so i want this shot and if you remove it it's too dark okay so i've done that and then the last light is i'm gonna do from the front opening shot so as you remember there is light coming through the window that um, sunlight but it is still very dark so all i did is i've just added another one that just lights up this chair and this middle scene a little bit and so i've just added and you can see it's also orange and the shadow is also um, purple and that is basically my scene that i have lit up and then as you can see it still doesn't really look like a um like a sunset scene and that is where my LUTs came into place so if i go to visual i've added a desert sun and a sunset effect so that one you can see it already adds a little bit of an orange color and i've just it's on 19 so you can see if you push it up it brings a lot of orange in but i've just made it a little bit so let's push it back and then i've had us added a sunset lot and there the magic happens and i've also just blended in down to 74 because it is just too strong so let's make it back to 74 there you go and so if we just i want to get from behind this character and you can see what a beautiful shot ah uh, there you go and this is such a beautiful shot and that is how i have lit up this scene for an animation project that i am working on so i hope you find this video helpful let me know in the comments if you do 
And then also I am currently working on my very own 3D animation full feature film. And if you want to see more on how I create the film, creating characters, creating scenes, lighting up the scenes, um, everything behind the scenes of creating a form. If you want to learn more and join me on this journey as I make my full feature form, uh, feel free. I'll also add a link in the description and you can sign up and you can join me. And um, it is such a, the feedback that I've uh, received so far from people in there is so positive because for them, it feels like they get um, they're in the process with me. It is like, it's not just watching tutorials. It is like being um, in the animation studio as a film is being made. It is really the decision making that you normally don't see in tutorials. How I make decisions on character design, etc. So it is really, really a behind the scenes of making a film. So if you want to Join me um, in the description. I'll add the link and you can sign up there. And it's also a way that you can just help me fund this film because this film is quite expensive to make. But in any, any case, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you and I will see you guys next week with another video. So from me, God bless and happy animating.